the return of Downton Abbey. We're Woo! so excited. Yeah. Mar Jennings is here with our Mondays with Mar. Today's helping us kind of get ready for the return of DA, as we like to call it. <laughs> uh, and you'll have, of course, more on this uh, MarJennings.com. So Absolutely. first, check out his tips and his tricks. This is just very... Oh my gosh, I'm there. Completely inspired. Oh, by the way, look at my, t my tiara. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm dressed for the party. You're the lady <laughs> dressed for the party. Lady Carrie. The idea, if we can't go to High Claire, let's bring High Claire to Connecticut. And it's very easy to do. And all you have to really do is start with a theme. A okay. color theme is so important. And stick to that color theme. Because the moment you introduce more colors, you start going more into like a Cinco de Mayo. Yes, you know, you yes. start going more busy, into a parade. Distracting. Keep it simple. And I've gone with the silver. You start with the tablecloth and you build your layers from there and notice that I have a charger, I have a plate, I have a bowl, it, all the multiple layers, but also on top of the tablecloth, I have a placemat as Which well. Which is crazy. Mirror. It's Isn't a it lovely? Mirror. Okay. You know what it does? It makes it so special. Your your metals are playing off the reflection. You know, it, it's it's just sort of like eating dinner and getting a selfie at the same and time. And you can always <laughs> get a selfie. <laughs> if you're the selfie, you're, you have to throw it in. Absolutely. You're the selfie. Put it in. And the idea, and I don't know about you, but I'm always home goods happy. Every time I oh, go it's, there, it's I find great store. items and very inexpensive, and you find beautiful different you know silverware all goods? from home goods oh, look I at the them. sheen the reflection you could really very afford holiday. to do a very festive table whatever the occasion may be well and by the way all this stuff's on sale right now all on sale yeah and don't be afraid to mix and match okay people often make a mistake that you have to find the whole set right, right, go right. ahead and find the different bowls and as long as they have the same color tones and the plates and the chargers they all work together okay so Lots that's of very chargers. important I think they just really set it off I don't know it makes you just feel it makes it bigger and more special well awesome. think about it the moment you have more than just you know an entree and a main dinner create the layers and how you're serving your food as well because when you think about Downton Abbey they're sitting for a long time mm -hmm. that's a social gathering so you want to have the right lights and that's what I want to go to next yeah let's talk the candelabra oh, okay do your guests a favor make them look good <laughs> <laughs> Everyone <lighting>. looks great <laughs> in candles. Yeah. Okay. Just a simple napkin, cocktail That's napkin, napkin, can be converted into a wrapping paper design as well. Oh my gosh! All you're it going sure to is. do is it's just like fabric. Open it right up, and you now have certainly the ability to use that as wrapping paper as well. And there's so many fun patterns out there, mm -hmm. so you can totally go to town. There's sayings, there's expressions. I mean, yes. you talk, yeah. especially when you're doing something small scale, go ahead and discover Cute. cocktail napkins and as a wonderful alternative. You didn't do anything to treat it. You just literally Nothing. use it. It looks Little like fabric, doesn't it? Shape. It looks like fabric, and it's unexpected. Okay? So and what about this? How about using yeah, a what scarf? Is going on there? That's Two so bottles cool. of wine are but, in this scarf. So the step-by-step -step instructions are on my website. Okay, good. But let's unravel this so you can see how easy it really is. Okay, because that is and like a little you're carrier. And you're just going to untie the top. Okay. And now the scarf also becomes part of the gift as well. And you'll notice that all you have to do... Ta-da! Voila! You have two bottles of wine. And then and when you I get have the gift that keeps giving. The, you know, I can put the scarf on later. <laughs> it how totally I can do this. works with you. the side or something, right? <laughs> There's not much that doesn't look good on you. Wait, now I have a little test for you. Okay. okay. Have you ever seen this before? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Caught you off guard. This I is your shopping bag. <laughs> I gave a friend a gift in that. Right. You gave a friend she a gift in the shopping bag, and she came over, and I'm like, I'm going to recycle <laughs> that. I completely unraveled it, cut everything off. It was Nicole Miller, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> a nice <Recycle> bag. <laughs> Wonderful <Got> patterns. <laughs> and look at this. I just simply reused it, added an ornament, used some recycled ribbon, and now this it is, is a present. And that's even that's the, tag the tag. That was because the tag. you didn't use the tag. <laughs> I completely you recycled everything. Because it was too small. I had too much to write. <laughs> too so much to too write. Small. Good, and but so it see, could be used. Isn't that fantastic? You Easy are to do. Tricky. So you're ready for the holidays now, right? Check out marjennings.com. You can do this too. Love you, Mar. Thank Here's the trick. Okay. You take a wiry brush. This is for my schnauzer, Violet. <laughs>
<laughs> and sure and you brought that here today. yeah, because you know <laughs> this is the, the, for it. yeah, I use it for this. And then what okay. you're going to do is you're going to go over the grains, and you'll notice with the sizal carpet because it's very natural and organic, it will pull the color back up, and it will match the rest of the sizal carpet, removing wow. any stain. The problem you have is the moment you put any chemicals, water remover. You're done. Which we it's all a, do. By now right. we've dumped on gallons and it's not coming out and now my carpet's wrong. Right. So this is the this way This is go. the trick. Just let it sit. Be patient with it. It's right. hard to do. It just happened yesterday for me, oh. but it works every time. Okay. okay. You're going to have certainly people coming over. You want to make sure that things are ironed and yes. pressed. Certainly when it comes to napkins. I always say invite a friend over, have a glass of uh, champagne or a martini and get the project done. It makes it more fun That's and entertaining. That's a fun way to do it. I and love you know to what? iron. It's a really nice touch when you do it's a lot it of is. extra effort but it's worth I think it makes you feel special when you go to someone's house and they're like ooh I'm trusting you with the good stuff you know most definitely good. most definitely yeah. especially when you actually enjoy the process and you exactly. set time aside to do it do you Perfect. do your ironing in your home I do and I do it with a martini or there you go that's what I do it window cleaning okay, <laughs> okay. Who doesn't have to clean a window now and then? Yeah. I'm not talking about the entire house, but certainly in the high traffic areas, yep. right? Yep. Where either dog's nose is up against the glass or the kids' case, yeah. or fingerprints. Yep. What you want to do is you're certainly going to clean your windows with any solution that you normally would find. Now, what's but the deal with coffee, the coffee filters? Really? They're lint free and they're very durable. So you can go in there and you can really clean the windows and it doesn't leave any streak. Go ahead and do that one for me. Okay. So just. Just okay. right. And it doesn't leave any streaks. No. And that's what drives me crazy. Streaks. After I clean a window, if there's tons of streaks, I'm always like, oh, let's get the professionals in. Totally. Oh, look at this. Look at now I'm down to the good stuff. Here right? Go. And it makes okay. it shine. It's very easy to do. Great. And again, you're not going to do your entire house with coffee filters, but they're so available and inexpensive when you find inexpensive coffee filters. They're lint free and voila. It and for that it smudge that Violet leaves just as the guests are come. Like this. Always look at the, the front door. Filter. These Works are like a charm. good. So now we're ready okay, to decorate. Now we're ready. Yep. Right? Okay? Because now that we've done these important things that people will notice yes. when they come to your house, now you can splurge and you know, get the elf on the shelf. Oh my, my goodness. My mother would put the, the elf. elf don't, that's a whole other segment. Right. The elf has started. My mother I'm would so put stressed. the elf in areas that she wanted to clean to remind herself. This is like an old school <laughs> elf on the shelf too, right? You've been doing this for a while. We've been doing this for a while. You can find them just about anywhere. Oh, this one's from sure Home Goods. It's a fun one, but I love the fact that they're very pliable and that, you know, they, they're can, fun. they can hang out with you and uh, <laughs> be with you all day. Until you have to explain why the elf on the shelf fell on the floor and your kid finds it. Right. He's just sleeping. He's okay, I'm sure. All right, for more tips, Good morning, everybody. Chatting with Mondays with Mar. You know, November's here, cooler days, frosty nights. They have us all kind of wanting to go inside. We want any excuse to have a social gathering, maybe a That's festive right. dinner party. There are so many pumpkins left over, though, Mar. There you, are. So you came up with some clever things that we can do with them um, and, and instead of just, you know... Doing well, you what, know, what bad kids do. Throw right. them into the <laughs> well, we could do that too. Uh, <laughs> but but the idea here is that you know some of them are damaged if you didn't use them as a jack o' lantern. So what do you do with them? Right. And now we go into that fall autumn decor. Mm -hmm. We're nestling inside. We're starting fires. We're entertaining. Why not take these pumpkins as an inspiration and build from it? for your tabletop decor, and I have a couple ideas that I want to show you here. The only reason we <laughs> aren't doing it is because we don't know what to do with them, so right. this is where you come in. I love it. Okay, so, you know, you could take a pumpkin, and you can certainly carve it as you normally would, as opposed to putting some faces on it. What you want to do is just completely carve it out like I've done here with this little gore, and it's the perfect vessel for a candle. Yep. It's also like a one. wonderful opportunity for you to take it. I have toothpicks here with a little bit of Spanish moss in the front there. So if you're doing a cheese plate, you could put that. If you're doing any kind of hors d'oeuvres, you can have it right out on a beautiful platter. And again, it becomes a wonderful little vessel. This is brilliant. I never <laughs> thought of doing that with, the, you know, like if you have like olives out or something like that. Yes. It's like Place wondering it what to do. What with do you a, do with it? Right? You know, I, some guests might use that to pick their teeth. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Depends upon <laughs> who's coming over, right? <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> so you can also use it as a vessel for flowers or plants as well. So yeah, how, what have you got going on? Is I this just a pot simply, in here? yes. Oh, it is. Okay. All I did is I carved out the pumpkin yeah. and I created the space so I could go to my grocery store and I 
purchased a plant, a rubber plant, and I popped it right in. Okay. And then I just finished it off the edge by putting a little bit of the reindeer moss. Excuse me, this is Spanish, Spanish moss. moss yeah. Or you could put reindeer what moss. What is reindeer moss? Reindeer moss has a more lush green vibrant color. Oh, and I'll that's start nice introducing too. that soon as oh, well. Good, good. But for right now, we're just keeping it very simple and organic. And I also love to be able to take them as well. If you're serving pumpkin soup, and so go many ahead. people do for Thanksgiving, right? right? Yeah. Cut it off, scoop it all out, and serve it as a bowl for your dinner top table. Such a good idea. Then you've right? got the flavor of the pumpkin going into the soup. Soup, right? And it's Adorable. unexpected. It's unexpected. Welcome back, everyone. We don't hate Mondays around here. We love them because it's Mondays with Mar Jennings, and we're always doing something fun and exciting that you can do at home as well. Marvelous Mar is here now with me this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, you, Carolee. <laughs> so, hydrangeas, they're everywhere. These things, I love them because they just go as long as they can, and then even after they're dead, you can do stuff with them. Absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, the flowers are spent, but this is the perfect opportunity to truly capture them more long term and enjoy them in. In the home and I brought a couple examples I'm going to show you Some how to take one. them yeah. from a short period of time in the garden okay. to really all the way until next year okay? and I think too sometimes people have the you know they see them and they think all I can do is really stick them in a pot dry them put them in the house but there's more you there's can do. more you can do okay the first thing is you're gonna pick so you're gonna go in the garden this is a tardiva very very different but also very sculptural and yeah. interesting the first thing you're going to do is pick them once you pick them okay. then you are just going to put them in a vase and a little bit of water and let them suck whatever water out into oh, them. Oh, really? Then they look I didn't like know that this. Part. Okay. okay. Then what you're going to do, and this is what you're going to do, right, is you're me. going to prepare. So you're going to take off every last leaf. leaf. So just bring it down just and completely just... remove okay. every last one because that's not attractive looking at no. all. You want to make sure that when you're picking the flowers, you're looking for interesting color variation. Look at these colors. I know. I mean, they're beautiful. fantastic. Love. And if you wait too long, you don't want them to look like this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is if Been you there, wait too long. Okay, okay. <laughs> you really want to capture That's them. That's when you miss the boat. <laughs> when they're beautiful. And okay. right now, they're beautiful. So now that you completely have picked and prepared, yes. okay, what you want to do is you want to spray them and you want to protect. Okay. Now, you want to spray them with an aerosol hairspray. And you're doing this for a couple of different reasons. One, they don't make a mess in the house. Oh, okay, so you're yeah. not going to lose the flowers. If I touch this one, you know, this is very all easy the place. to get all over the place in your home. Once you do this, they oh, yeah, doesn't intact. happen. And you don't have to be like Mar where he spends $30 on hairspray. To use for the <laughs> I just grabbed those. I didn't like, even know it was for This is my expensive girl hairspray. When I'm using the cheap stuff, Guess what? it's you're a fraction keep of that. that. Oh, good. <laughs> you're going to keep that. Okay. So you've got the gourds in there. The squirrels oh. take them. They roll out half the time. He's got you're going to do a little that. project. Right, okay, so me. you're going to use chopsticks, okay, to secure them into your window box. Okay. But first, you drill a hole. Go ahead and okay. take that gourd and drill go. a hole. Okay. How big? How deep? All the way through. There you go. Keep going. There oh, you go. Okay. You're done. So you can now you're going to take it okay. and put the chopstick right inside. Okay. So you're basically doing this, okay, and you're putting it right in. And what happens is this gives you a wonderful way to secure the gore so That's it doesn't brilliant. fall off. So you can put it at an angle, you can put it straight up, because there's nothing worse when you put these great decorative touches and then they fall off. Yeah, and or so even move. Ahead. You want them where you want them. And it helps secure items as well. So see that, how it pops right in? Yes. Look at that. You know what? You don't just make it look easy. You just proved it was, because that took all of two seconds, and that solves a big problem when it comes to these. That's great. See? It's pretty common for people to bring something as a bottle of wine. Yep. But what if you could really turn it into a wine bouquet? And that's nice what I have idea. here. I have three different examples on how it transitions from a regular bottle by just tying a little bit of rope around the top of the neck. Uh -huh. Okay? And then you build from there. And I have here some Spanish moss. You can get it anywhere. Okay? It's all the craft stores. Anywhere. Yep. Then you forge in the garden. You find some evergreen clippings. And you just kind of put it all together. And then you tie it. And you secure it with a beautiful ribbon. And again, a little raffia, and you're good to go. You know what? That looks hard. 
It's not. You just showed us how to do it. It's very simple. And I, it's so much nicer. I mean, I think we all go and buy like the wine bag or something like that, the little paper. Those are cute, but this this just says, I took time. I'm giving you a bottle of wine and then something. And that's a great point. And you know, when you spend the time to do something such as this, it becomes more of a present. I love your anti-re-gift <laughs> idea. Talk right. about what you do with the wine. Well, sometimes you give a gift of a bottle of wine and there's a lot going on and they put it down, they forget about it, and they don't know who it came from. Go ahead and sign the bottle of wine Right that the way label. they know who gave it to them, and that way they will drink it. Because you can't re-gift the bottle that you signed, <laughs> someone else signed, right? If you do, you're busted, so you okay. don't want to do that.